Hi guys, welcome to UPSC Cloud. Next question. A parliamentary system of government is one in which Option A. All political parties in the parliament are represented in the government. B. The government is responsible to the parliament and can be removed by it. C. The government is elected by the people and can be removed by them. D. Government is chosen by the parliament but cannot be removed by it before completion of fixed term. Okay. So, before going to the options and answers, first of all, a, 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 sorry, screen, okay. First of all, what we have to do is, okay. Actually, everyone knows, a parliamentary system of government is one in which government is responsible to parliament okay and can be removed by it in such a system the role of president is monarch and is primarily ceremonial okay actually i am telling this because the role of president or is a monarch or primarily ceremonial because the ex executive power of the state is in the hand of prime minister because we are talking about the parliamentary form of government and the prime minister along with the council of minister pm along with com council of ministers wields effective power they together is the actual constituent of power okay and also according to article 75 clause 3 of the constitution of india what it says the council of minister the com is collectively c o l e c t i e v e l y collectively okay what collectively responsible to the house of people that is Lok Sabha okay the CM is collectively responsible to the Lok Sabha and which is one of the constituent of the parliament which is one of the we all know that the Lok Sabha and Raj Sabha so the CM is collectively responsible to the house of people and the member of council of minister are elected member of this parliament actually the elected member of parliament even in it doesn't matter it's uh, in which house upper house or lower house elected member of the parliament is the actually the elected member of means that the member of CM is from the elected member of the parliament either from the Lok Sabha or the Raj Sabha okay and the rule of Lok Sabha provide a mechanism of testing the collective responsibility okay the actually the means that uh, the rule of Lok Sabha is that that any of the MP of the Lok Sabha who can garner or we can say that the gain the support of at least 50 members to introduce means that whenever there is a there is a in doubt situation means that uh, that this if the government is running actually we know that he how much everyone knows that how much is the um, how much member is means that how much member is needed to form a government actually how much money so if there is a, any in doubt situation what it will happen that if i am suppose that i am a mp of lok sabha and i found that there is not the means that the current government has not the support of uh, what we can say that uh, 
the majority means means that uh, more than half of the MPs more means the current government has done does not have the support of more than fifty percent of the MPs. Then I, I myself, and with the support of other fifty members of the House, I can pass or introduce a no sorry not pass introduce a motion of no confidence. Actually, how much member? Fifty member. And uh, then uh, what we can say introduce. Uh, the what we can said aim motion of motion of no confidence against the the COM Council of Ministers, and if the no confidence motion is passed, then the government fail. So from this discussion, government is responsible to Parliament to PM, and along with the CM is collectively. Responsible to the Lok Sabha and the member of the Council of Ministers, elected member of the Parliament, and the rule of Lok Sabha provide a mechanism. Then we come to the options. What we can say: all political parties in the Parliament are represented in the government. Okay, this is a common thing. Okay, but what we had found that the government is responsible to the Parliament and can be removed by it. So option B is striking to this. Okay. Because the parliament system of government is one in which a government is responsible to parliament and can be removed by it, is the common statement. And in such a system, the role of the president is or a monarch is primarily ceremonial, and the prime minister, along with the council of ministers, wields the effective power. So option B is the right answer. What I had uh, told you, please listen it carefully. Okay, thank you, and please subscribe.